On the surface, Dan Gilbert's offer to build Wayne County a new jail facility is a godfather type offer, one you just can't refuse. But one thing is always true in scenarios like this, the devil is in the details and County Executive Warren Evans says it may take months to sort it all out. Rod Maloney lays out some of the issues with this proposal. Wayne County's got $150 million into this jail. They've set aside about $300 million more since their financial fortunes have improved to try and finish it right where it sits. The question is, is the Rock Ventures offer good enough? We're at a critical point in Wayne County's history. A soccer stadium or jail? Wayne County Executive Warren Evans agrees with Rock Ventures owner Dan Gilbert. It's a 50-year decision and one you can't make lightly. So he's going to wait and see if he can work out a deal. I personally have doubts that $420 million will be enough to build what we need. And I'm not talking about cost overruns. I'm talking about the amount of money needed to build the facilities that truly meet our needs. But the county has a contractor on the line to build the jail, and it can't wait forever. So the county's promising Walls Construction half a million dollars to keep the construction process going while the county vets the deal. Uh, make no mistake, this is, this is not an act of philanthropy. Wayne County Commission Chairman Gary Warren Chuck shares Evans' pessimism and says that there's a real problem outside everyone's control here in Wayne County. The original bonds to put this rusting hulk here are Federal Recovery Act bonds, $200 million worth, and the county doesn't know if the feds will take kindly to knocking this down for a soccer stadium on their dime. Then you have to pay back certain of the in interest uh, concessions that were granted because of it. It could be $50 million, many millions of dollars that the county would be on the hook for, which uh, probably would scuttle the whole deal. That's $50 million on top of what we're already talking about here. So you're really getting into some heavy duty money. And Warren Evans says, look, we've got to check and see if this can actually work, but it's also a negotiation. So they'll try and get something settled by May. Back to you. Rod, it's funny to hear people's responses immediately. This is such a great offer and also don't be fooled by this offer. Is there anything <laughs> the county does like about that Gilbert offer? Well, yeah, you know, let, let's face it, three new buildings, a new courthouse, uh, a new jail, a new juvenile facility. Yes, that's wonderful, but how big, how much? Those are the questions that they're asking. And, uh, and so it's one of those things where, you know, there's a lot of work to do. Can they get jurors bust there? Things like that. A lot of questions to have answered, and they're going to be working on that in the months to come now. Certainly. A lot of questions. We know you'll stay on it. All right, Rod.